My first line of jewelry was really, really inspired by Carlene Cerf. She uh, is a fashion editor and a fashion icon and probably one of the most talented women you'll ever hear of meet in fashion. And the one thing that she always taught me is that you always have to have neat hands. And I thought that was really interesting for a woman that was like so well known and you know so admired for her fashion sense was obsessed with how neat your hands are. I was also really, really inspired by Talitha Getty. I actually went on um, her boat. I actually got stuck in the bathroom and so I got an opportunity to really like check out the marble in the bathroom and in this small bathroom all of the veins were matching. So you can imagine like how they like cut, tried to get all these pieces of marble to match. I mean it must have cost a fortune and I thought that was really impressive that that's instead of you know having this flawless green marble bathroom that it was filled with veins and that you know showed this incredible sense of style. I guess one thing that's about the show is that because it's a reality show, people think that it's real. Like right now, I'm being filmed. So I'm gonna say a certain thing. I'm gonna say it in a certain way. I'm not, maybe not gonna say it the same way that I would if we were just having a normal conversation because it's, there's a camera, there are lights, I'm sitting in a chair. So all of a sudden it becomes a surreal moment. And I think that's one thing where people that people don't understand about it, they think it's like, no, 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 it really happened that way. As a model, I would walk into a studio and, you know, people would make my hair curly or straight, dark eyes, you know, like whatever. They would just do whatever they wanted with me. And in TV, I kind of wanted that same opportunity. Instead of me being the host and being like, hey there, you know, today we're going to talk about food. I wanted to do something that was like, you know, to just allow people the freedom to, to manipulate me and to have fun with my personality. When I was a model, I never, I always had like this sense of like, you know, looking at all these editors from Milan who always wore like black skinny pants and like these little black sweaters. And so it was really Gilles who kind of brought me out of that because I literally like started to, to wear like those clothes because I thought that was like how you should dress. So I always wore that same kind of outfit. You know, he bought me a pair of pearls and he was like, if you wear pearls with a little, you know, beaded necklace and if you just like mix it up, then you can be the chameleon because the wonderful thing about being a human is not being the chameleon. And I think that's what makes fashion really fun, accessible and modern. So whether you're shopping your closet or you're shopping H&M with you know, Matthew Williamson, you're going on your own dream vacation. So you don't have to get on a plane to dream. You just have to go in your closet